Waggle Bite of Fraggle Rock. Laundry. That is what Booper Frag loves to do when he's not sitting around thinking, thinking about germs, falling rocks, and the end of the world. Booper, you see, is a warrior. He does not know it yet, but just inside his laundry basket is a brand new worry. One blue sock, another blue sock, one brown sock, another brown sock, one yellow ear. Yellow ear, cried Boober. Yikes! Psst. Boober did not wait around to find out what he had just hung up on his clothesline. Help! he shouted, running to the great hall to sound the alarm. In an instant, thousands of fraggles had gathered around. Boober's closet friends, Gobo, Wembley, Red and Mulky, Made, made their way to the front of the cloud. Front of the crowd, asked Moki, "What's the matter?" Doom, gloom, yellow ears. Boober was so excited he couldn't even talk straight. Asked Red, "Boober, take it easy. What has yellow ears?" Laundry hanging yellow ears. Boober shouted. Said Gobo, "You'd better show us what you're talking about." Booper led his four friends back to his cave. Gobo, the bravest, went in first. It's a uh, went in first. It's a uh, crave creature," said Gobo. "What's a crave creature doing here?" Mont Booper said. "Moki, it's come to visit you, and caves creatures don't visit just anyone. You should, you should be honored," added Red. She, he sure likes you. Look at his tail wagging, ging, thum, 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 wagging. Why don't you give him a name? Said Mulky. I don't want to give him a name. Said Boober. I don't even want to let him stay. The cave creature licked Boober's face adoringly. Yeah. Said Booper, wetness and germs. Thump, thump, thump. There goes that tail again. Said Gabo. Maybe you should call him Wags, or、uh, Waggers. Suggested Red. How about Wagglebot? Mokey, Mokey said. It's got a nice ring to it. To it, said Wembley. Sounds good to me. Suggested Gabo. Let's weave Boober and Wagglebot along so they can get to know each other better. Wait, Boober, Boober begged. Don't go. But it was too late. Swoof, swoof! Barked Wagglebot as he began to explore the cave. First, he found Boober's collection of lucky stones. He left no stone unturned. Then he went for Boober's hats. Oh no, not my hats! Boober cried. Wagglebot chewed through Boober's red burned, his green fedora, and his bright blue beanie. But when Wagglebot tucked Boober freshly washed and best loved scarf from, from scarf from from the line, Boober had to take action. Give me my scarf! He shouted. He grabbed the scarf and pulled and pulled. Wagglebot thought this was great fun until Boober's Boober's scarf tore right down the middle. Boober and Wagglebot went flying. While Boober was digging digging out of the mess, Wagglebot went to find something to eat. He followed his nose to a freshly baked carrot loaf, a dish of radish, radish dish salfu, and a specially seasoned stool that Booper was saving for dinner. That special se- seasoning in the stew came from a flava flower. Flava flowers, which which are very hard to find, make food irresistible.
susceptible to fraggles. The flowers were what Wackaby spotted next. He was just finishing the last one when Uber found him. Uber yelled, "That does it! It took me weeks to find those flowers." Out, out! Get out of here! Wackaby's tail dropped to the floor with a thud. Then smoothly he left the cage. I'm glad Wackaby's gone. I am," said Boober. "He's noisy, noisy, germy, and he makes a mess of everything." Boober looked at his emptied flower jar. "How would I ever find another flower, flower, flower?" They bloomed once every th- three years. Boober picked up his laundry and began to wash it hurriedly. He felt better when he had finished and went to mix up a batch of radish rolls. That cave creature had better not darken my doorstep again if he knows what's good for him. Boober muttered. The next thing Boober knew, he was up in the air, then down on the floor. Boober Boober ran to see what had happened. And rumbling noise was coming from the cave of three corners. Great gorgs of fire! Yelled Boober when he got there. A huge pile of rocks blocked the entrance of the cave, sticking out at the at the bottom with the tip of a yellow tail. It figures, thought Boober. Thump thump went the tail weakly. For a moment, Boober considered leaving Wackaby there. Then he thought better of it. It began to unpile the rocks one by one. Swoof! It, and then swoof! Bart Wackleby when he he was free. He dropped the lava flower flower at Booper's feet. Booper Booper could hardly believe it. Wackleby had found another flower flower flower. Booper carefully picked up the flower and took it back to his cave. He put it in a jar of water. Instantly, more flowers grew. Said Boober, "Ah, once again, my uh, amazingly delicious dishes will become truly incredible." Boober mixed their flower petals in with some radish jam. Then he spread the jam on the warm rolls he had just baked, as if by f- magic. Gobo, Wembley. Red Moki appeared. Act Moki, what is that mag- magnificent aroma, Boober? Answered Boober. Oh, just a little something I threw together. These are great," said Red as she finished her seventh roll of jam. Then swoof, swoof, barked Wagglebye. Why don't you ask Wagglebye in to have some? Moki said he's hungry. He's hungry. Boober jumped up to guard the door. Absolutely, positively, most very definitely. Swoof, swoof. Wackaby barked as sweet, sweetly as he knew knew how. Boober ignored him. As I was saying, Boober continued. Absolutely, positively, most very definitely, no. Swoof, swoof. Wackaby tried again. Oh come on, Boober said. Red, never said. Boober. Wackaby is the most impossible creature I have ever met. Then he remembered the flower that Wackaby had given to him. He stopped to think. It was a di- difficult decision. Finally, Boober made up his mind. Listen, Wackaby, Boober said. If we try not to be noisy, or and try not to be noisy, and try not to be Jeremy, and try not to make a mess of everything, then Wackaby was inside eating. Warm rolls with jam in a time it takes to say five raggle friends. Thump thump thump. Wow.